Hi, welcome to the channel NCRT Maths Tutor. In this video, we will discuss exercise 6.1, chapter 6, Linear Inequalities, class 11 mathematics, question number 25 and 26 solution. Question number 25, the longest side of a triangle is 3 times the shortest side and the third side is 2 cm shorter than the longest side. If the perimeter of the triangle is at least 61 cm, find the minimum length of the shortest side. See in this question, they are referring a triangle. They have given that the longest side of a triangle is 3 times the shortest side. So that's why here we don't know anything about the shortest side here. So we will consider here, let us say that the shortest side of the triangle is some x centimeter. Then based on this particular sentence, we can have this as the longest side of a triangle is 3 times the shortest side. See, we have taken here shortest side as x centimeter. So, based on this sentence, we can have now longest side is equal to 3 times of shortest. Shortest is x, so 3x centimeter. So, this is the longest side and this is the shortest side. Then, the third side is 2 centimeter shorter than the longest side. So, they have given the third side is 2 cm shorter than the longest side. Longest side we got as 3x, 3x and they have given that the third side is 2 cm shorter than this means we have to deduct 2 from this. So we get here third side is equal to 3x minus 2 cm. So now we got all the three sides, shortest side is x centimeter, longest side is 3x centimeter and third side is 3x minus 2 centimeter. So if you consider a triangle here, we can have the distance like this way, shortest side as x, then the longest side as 3x and the third side as 3x minus 2. Then they have given if the perimeter of the triangle is at least 61 centimeter, find the minimum length of the shortest side. So, perimeter of the triangle is at least 61 centimeter. At least they have given. See, whenever you have at least, you have to use greater than or equal to 61. See, here they have given at least 61. Means minimum is 61 or you can have the perimeter more than that also. So, minimum value is 61 or you can have 62, 63, 64 like that way. So, perimeter of the triangle is greater than or equal to 61 you need to write. Suppose if you have here at most 61, that in that case you have to use less than or equal to symbol. At most means here maximum is 61 or you can have less than that. But here we have at least that means minimum is here 61 or you can have more than that. So perimeter of the triangle is greater than or equal to 61. This is given to us. Now here we need to find out the minimum length of the shortest side. So to find that, see here, we have the sides of the triangle. Three sides of the triangle we know. So we can add all these things. x plus 3x plus 3x minus 2 is greater than or equal to 61. The perimeter, to find the perimeter of the triangle, add all the three sides. So one side is x, another side is 3x, another side is 3x minus 2. And they have given this perimeter is greater than or equal to 61. So we can have the inequality like this way. x plus 3x plus 3x minus 2 is greater than or equal to 61. 3 plus 3, 6 plus x, 7x minus 2 is greater than or equal to 61. So 7x is greater than or equal to 61 plus 2. We get 7x is greater than or equal to 63. Now here divide both sides by 7. So we get 7x divided by 7 greater than or equal to 63 by 7. So 7 ones are. So x greater than or equal to 7 nines are 9. So here the we need to find out the minimum length of the shortest side. So we got here x is greater than or equal to 9. That means the minimum length of the shortest side is 9 centimeter. See here we got x is greater than or equal to 9. So minimum value is 9 here or it can have 10, 11, 12. So minimum is here 9 and x is nothing but what we have taken as shortest side. So we can write minimum length of the shortest side is equal to 9 centimeter.
क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स अ मैन वॉन्ट्स टू कट थ्री लेंथ फ्रॉम अ सिंगल पीस ऑफ बोर्ड ऑफ लेंथ नाइन्टी वन सेंटीमीटर द सेकेंड लेंथ इज टू बी थ्री सेंटीमीटर लॉन्गर देन द शॉर्टेस्ट एंड द थर्ड लेंथ इज टू बी ट्वेल्स एज लॉन्ग एज द शॉर्टेस्ट वॉट आर द पॉसिबल लेंथ ऑफ द शॉर्टेस्ट बोर्ड इफ द थर्ड पीस इज टू बी द एटलीस्ट फाइव सेंटीमीटर लॉन्गर देन द सेकेंड सी हियर दे आर रेफरिंग अ बोर्ड एंड दे हैव गिवन दैट अ मैन वॉन्ट्स टू कट three lengths from a single piece of board so there is a board and that man want to cut that board into three pieces let us say that these three pieces we have like this way then they have given here see the second length is to be 3 cm longer than the shortest so they have given something about the second length but there is, they have not given anything about the shortest length so that's why now let us say that the shortest length is x cm the shortest side is x cm then see based on this we can now find out the second length as well as third side length so here see they have given the second length is to be 3 cm longer than shortest so shortest we have taken as x 3 cm longer than this means you have to add plus 3 to this that gives the second length next it is they have given third length is to be twice as the shortest so third length is uh, twice as the shortest see shortest we have taken as x double of this that means third length is equal to 2x cm so now we got the uh, length of all the three sides i mean three pieces next here see they have given Uh, here what are the possible lengths of the shortest board if the third piece is to be at least 5 cm longer than the second so this we need to calculate here and they have given that the board of length 91 cm the total length of the board is 91 cm so here we can have the single piece of board length is equal to 91 cm and uh, they have given all we got now all the three pieces uh, length x cm x plus 3 cm 2x cm that means based on this now we can have the inequality like this way x plus x plus 3 plus 2x is less than or equal to 91 the single piece board length they have given as 91 that means if we add all these three pieces we may get less than this or we may get equal to this so that's why i'm using the inequality less than or equal to 91 so we get here x plus x plus 3 Plus two x. So here we get uh, x plus x is two x plus two x. Four x plus three is less than or equal to ninety one. Four x is less than or equal to ninety one minus three. So four x is less than or equal to eighty eight. Now divide both sides by four. We get four x divided by four is less than or equal to eighty eight divided by four. So four ones are four ones are here. We get then four ones are four twenty two sir. So x is less than or equal to twenty two. so we got the x value that is the shortest piece uh, length is here uh, x is less than or equal to 22 that we got see but in the question they have asked us to find out uh, see what are the possible lengths of the shortest board if the third piece is to be at least 5 cm longer than the second so they have given the third piece is at least 5 cm longer than the second that means see here third piece length is 2x so 2x third piece 2x is at least longer than the possible length of shortest board is uh, sorry is to be at least 5 cm longer than the second so second piece length is x plus 3 so x plus 3 plus 5 so this inequality we have to use why i am using this inequality because there is a a uh, sentence here where they have given what are the possible lengths of the shortest board so we are finding here the length of the shortest board if the third piece third piece length is here 2x so 2x is to be at least 5 cm longer than the second so second length is x plus 3 x plus 3 plus 5 so 2x is greater than or equal to x plus 3 plus 5 so If I use that inequality, let us see what happens here. Bring this x to this side. Two x minus x is greater than or equal to eight. So x is greater than or equal to eight. So now here we got two values for x. X less than or equal to two, and x is greater than or equal to uh, eight. So we can have the length of the shortest piece of board is eight less than or equal to x less than or equal to twenty-two. The length of the shortest piece of board is in between eight and twenty-two. 
If you like this video please like and subscribe thanks for watching